Yeah, so if you focus on the population of the Rebecca trial, that's the largest population of metastatic breast cancer patients which are hormone receptor positive and are lacking an expression or amplification of the HER2 gene, so they're not eligible for an anti-HER2 treatment. And this makes up for the population where patients in the metastatic die of the most. So there's the highest number of patients that have to deal with this disease that at that point is not curable anymore. And in that situation, uh, national and international guidelines recommend to do anti-hormone therapy rather than chemotherapy but the border where you would switch from giving a patient rather a hormone therapy or chemotherapy they're not clearly defined so there's lots of insecurities and patients often get overtreated with chemotherapy which has lots of side effects as a matter of fact in Europe there was a recent publication that 40 percent of the patients in the first line get chemotherapy and people were shocked why that is so high because the guidelines clearly recommend to give anti-hormone therapy. So drugs that overcome endocrine resistance as a monotherapy are very helpful in changing the therapy landscape that doctors and patients both feel more comfortable in relying on anti-hormone therapy based therapies rather than giving a chemotherapy. So getting CDK4-6 inhibitors or before that there was an mTOR inhibitor that already went into that direction both doctors and patients are very glad to have to prevent toxic chemotherapies.